my gosh, guys. Literally breaking news after breaking news right now. Um, I just finished recording the Javante Williams news, and he has torn his ACL. You will see the video of that uh, linked somewhere. But Corderell Patterson, uh, he's been battling a knee injury. He was questionable, questionable to play this week. Falcons running back, by the way questionable to play this week and he ended up playing some and I don't know if he exited the game early or not I th- I want to say he did in week four um, but knee injury is bothering him and someone um, Adam Schefter I believe just said that he has been placed on the injured reserve list meaning that he's going to miss at least the next four weeks of the 2022 NFL season terrible terrible news for the uh the Atlanta Falcons because we all know how good Patterson is, um, but they do have a running back who I think got some carries. Uh, Tyler Alligier, Alligier. I, I'm not good with names. Okay, uh, Alligier. He, I think he had some carries, and I think they have a guy something Huntley, uh, a guy with the last name Huntley as well, who who looks really good. If he's still there or not. Um, but they're going to have an increased workload for sure. Um, Patterson has been like their Swiss army knife. Absolutely. The Swiss army knife of the Atlanta Falcons offense, kind of like what Debo Samuel and the San Francisco 49ers do. Um, especially last season in 2021, Patterson was comparable with Debo Samuel. Like they were both literally the same role for each offense and impressed and Patterson I want to say is like probably close to 30 years old by now he's been in the league a long time um I remember when he was on the Vikings and got drafted by the Vikings if I can type Corderell Patterson yeah if I can type that'd be nice but um he's actually 31 years old so I knew he was pushing that I just wasn't entirely sure uh, pro football reference. Let's see what Patterson did last season. Um, I know he's like a fantasy stud last season. I don't think he's been as impressive this season because honestly, the offense in general has not been what it should be uh, at all. Um, spent his four, first one, two, two, three, four years in Minnesota. Yeah, he was drafted there. Then he went to Oakland, then New England. Spent two years in Chicago. Now he's been with Atlanta. This is his second season there. Last year, guys, 153 rush attempts and 16 games played, 618 yards, six rushing touchdowns. Uh, Only four yards per carry. I mean, it's not bad at all, but not the best. Uh, 69 targets. He had 52 catches last season for 548 yards, five touchdowns, and a 75% catch rate. This season so far, though, he's averaging 85 yards per game rushing. He's got 58 rush attempts already this season for 340 yards. Um, he's only got four receptions though for 28 yards, so which is very unusual. Um, usually they would target a guy like him a lot more. And uh, well, don't even get me started on the Falcons' offense and things that are th- that they are doing wrong because it's a lot. Um, it says he had a knee procedure dealing with. He has been dealing with it for at least a week and played through it despite everything. Um, Oh, man, more breaking news. Jeez. Oh, uh, but that'll be a separate video, guys. Um, but Falcons offense is going to be struggling even more without Cordero Patterson. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Join the Discord server as well. I'd appreciate it. Over 200 members in there. We can talk about the NFL, anything you want with football. Make sure you guys stay sweet. Tune in. Oh, stay sweet. Tune in to the next video. Bye.